Hey Internet, I'm Colorful Arnie, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. So, in the last episode, we struggled greatly to beat Clayton, and we finally did. And in this episode, we're going to go back to Traverse Town, but first, we're going to improve our gummy ship, since it's a candy strip right now. Alright, so we're going to go to Garage. So, this is the high wind. This is the one that we have right now. We're going to modify it. Alright, so we look at the parts. we got a Fire G. This is another jet, which will let us go faster. So that's always nice. So, let's see. We'll put the jet... Oh, I can't attach any more engines. Rats. Alright. So that's all I have for there. Do I have any extra guns? I've got the Thunder G. No, rats. Alright, well, I'll give it more defense then. So that'll reduce damage by a lot. So... I'm essentially going to turn my, uh, gummy ship into a brick. Alright. Alright. So, th I know this looks like the most terrible looking ship ever. And what I essentially did was just I gave it a lot more armor so I won't die so easily. Alright, and we actually haven't traveled to Wonderland in this direction, so let's do that. We're not actually going to stop, we're just going to go there and then head to Traverse Town. But yeah, as you can see, my arm meter is a lot higher. And because I'm so huge, I will be able to pick up stuff more easily. Hopefully when I get back to Traverse to Oh man. So I've got like a little less than 600 money. I'm wondering what I'm going to buy, because I really want to upgrade my gummy ship. But at the same time, I also really want to get new weapons for Donald and Goofy. Because, well, let's be honest. <sighs> those weapons are alright, but they're not going to cut it for these upcoming worlds. Got some thinking to do. It's a good thing I equipped all that extra armor. <laughs> the best gummy ships in this game look like trash. Believe me. Or it's just like, oh look, it's a brick with all these random pieces everywhere. It, but that's the best. Alright, so if I can upgrade my gummy ship's engine, I'll be able to equip the extra turbine and go even faster. That'll be nice. Or I could buy some more guns to let me just decimate everything in my path, which would also be awesome. There's so many choices. So there are a lot of rings on the way to Wonderland, apparently. So we could land in Wonderland, but there's really no point. Even now that we've learned Red Trinities, there are no Red Trinities in Wonderland. Oh, I also have to visit the 101 Dalmatians house because they have got several rewards for me because I've rescued so many puppies. I seriously have no idea how to use the power meter. Maybe it's only certain guns that you use use the power meter? I don't know. The basic gun that you get is my favorite, because even though it's very weak, it's extremely rapid fire. So if you just equip a ton of them, it'll you'll just shred everything in your path. It's amazing. Well, I hope whoever you are who's watching this, I hope you are doing well, wherever you are. I'm enjoying myself here at college. 
studying hard, let's playing, trying to find an internship. Got a good lead today? Alright, let's land in the district. The first district. Ooh, we should also now be able to freeze all the candles. Since our MP is sufficiently high. See ya. So we freeze that candle. See ya. Freeze that candle. Deep freeze. Freeze that one. And See freeze ya. that one. And now we can open the chest. Ooh, defense up! Yes, please! So defense up will raise defense by one. You can only you can only use it once. So I'm gonna use that on Sora, obviously. I don't use feigns on my partners because there are plenty of fights in the game where you have to fight by yourself without the help of Donald and Goofy. Not to mention plus one defense is really not gonna help Donald out at all. Hey, it's Yuffie. Leon's probably at the underground cavern. He trains there often. You know the channel in the alleyway is connected to the car cavern. Alright, I still need more of those. I've got plenty of accessories, so I don't need to buy anything from Sid. Wow, those guys are easy. <laughs> and yet, Donald's dying to them. Actually, have these, did these guys get better? Sweet, Goofy got more defense. Not that he really needs it. Oh, also, I totally forgot. Sora has a new weapon. The Jungle Cane. It has longer reach and more strength than the Kingdom Key. It deals critical blows slightly less often, but yeah, let's be honest, the Kingdom Key rarely deals critical blows anyways. We are totally equipping that. This will make our lives so much easier. Okay, the enemies in Traverse Town have gotten slightly tougher. But they also give us more EXP! Also, those green enemies will heal other enemies, so... Watch out for that. Alright, Dalmatian's house. We have to go all the way back to the piano room to get our reward. Why is the Dalmatians have so huge? A gift from Pongo and Perdita. We get Kiragaji, Firegaji. Yes. All right. So that's a better cockpit and a better jet engine. You guys are so kind. Now I can build a cool spaceship! Colorful Art is in the business of designing spaceships that are extremely practical and not at all aesthetically pleasing. You guys again. I literally just killed you. Oh, I love that extra range and the extra power. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got Red Trinity... <laughs> we can now break open strong barriers. And now we're magically swimming. Cool. And Leon's swinging his sword at something. Hey dude, what's up? So you found the keyhole. Yeah! The key blade locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars has a keyhole. 
and each one leads the heart of that leads to the heart of that world. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was an Ansem's report. The heart must enter through the keyhole and do something to the world's core. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. What? That's why your key is so important. Please lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. I don't know. Seeing other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah! We gotta find your friends and Keen Mickey! I guess you're right. Okay. I feel like my Leon voice is pretty much spot on. Not that he's terribly hard to do. Ooh, that reminds me. Any new abilities? That's right, I've got Lucky Strike, Donald is still only as Berserk. And Goofy's still lacking the AP he needs. Terrific. Hey Leon, this gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's for? Dot 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 dot. Ask Sid, he should know. Wait, Sora, take this with you. We get Earthshine. This stone holds some mysterious power. I've been carrying it for luck. I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? Dot 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 dot. Thanks for nothing, Leon. Please lock the keyholes. Well, we, there's a treasure chest back here, so... I will help myself. And we get more puppies! And for some reason, there's like a platform in the sewers that leads to Merlin's house. That makes sense. Okay, once you get Earthshine, talk to the fairy godmother. Don't crush her with your keyblade. I'm so worried about Cinderella. My world has disappeared too. Okay, for crying out loud. Maybe talk to Merlin? Yes, I don't want to practice magic, you old coot. Alright, well, we gotta see Sid now, so... Yes, it is actually quicker to get to the accessory shop to just go inside your gummy ship, land, and then warp inside the accessory shop. Shortcuts! Alright. A big tournament's being held somewhere, Koopo! Hey, Sid. What do you got there? Hey! Well, if it ain't a gummy block. Yep. What's this one for? You're kidding me! You're a fly in a gummy ship and you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Bunch of pinheads. Inner space ain't no playground. That's a lot we don't know. So what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds. We don't have a choice. Whoa, easy. I don't know. I didn't know. No hard feelings, alright? Well, I guess I could lend y'all a hand then. Thanks. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. You want one on your ship, right? Heck yeah. I'll install it for you. But I got this thing I gotta deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart. Too beat up to restore it to the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job of putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's to the old house past the first district. Look for the big fire sign. Oh, that's Merlin's house. W what was that? Hmm? The bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. When you're done, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there. Alright, cool. There are traces of fire. Alright. Fire! Burning brightly. Hey dude, I lit your fire. Will you give me something for free? Nope. Alright, what do you got? Ah, these are lame. Because you get rings for beating bo many bosses, like, you don't really need to buy anything from this accessory shop. Hey, fat guy. 
I heard a terrible sorceress is in town. I don't know what she wants, but I hope she leaves soon. Okay, there's some... There's a red Trinity mark somewhere around here. Oh, that, that's right. It's down this way. So we'll probably just be in Traverse Town for this whole episode, because there's so much to do. And this leads us to a nice chest! And it's got three more puppies! Yeah, that leads to the alleyway, but it's blocked off. Pun intended. Oh yeah, we should check out Huey Dewey and Louie's item shop. Because I think they have new items for us to buy. Wanna buy something, Uncle Donald? Oh, nope, never mind. So the Warhammer is actually bad for Donald because it reduces his MP. I might get the... Nah. I prefer the Stout Shield to the Smasher anyways. Like, the Smasher might give him, like, plus one strength, but the Stout Shield gives him way more defense, so... That's the one I prefer. Because I like my party members to be alive for at least some of the time. Oh, actually, wait a second. Shortcut! We can go to the 3rd District for this door! There's quite a bit we can do. So first off, if we cast Thunder there, that'll light up a part of the city. Specifically, as the small house city is going to meet us in. Nice, Donald. Look at this. How dare you! See ya. Come on. I forget this, we're going to Sid's house. We have to skip across the rocks. If we fall, we can't get across. Merlin, you might want to fix the sidewalk. Seriously. Hey dude, we got a book for you. Oh, that book! So Sid asked you to bring this. Thank you. You know what this kind of bookie this is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow I found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book, I asked Sid to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here somewhere for now. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave that book over there. Do what? I, do look at it whenever you like. My best regards to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. You should ask the fairy godmother about that one. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor Finn. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem? This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one had such a strong heart, he became a gem instead of vanishing with his world. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now watch. Bippity boppity boo. We learned the summon spell Simba. To use summon magic, you need three party members in battle. Each summon spell can only be used once per battle. Be careful, you cannot use summon magic while any other party member is KO'd. Summoned characters withdraw from battle once they run out of MP. You can also dismiss them sooner by selecting the Dismiss command. More info on each summoned character is available in Jiminy's journal. Whenever you call, he will help you. If you find any more of these, please bring them to me. Don't worry, when their worlds are restored, they will return here. Sora, please save them. Don't worry, I will. Yep, so we learned the summon Simba, and we're, let's take a look at that book that uh, Merlin had.
This is a very unique world in the game. <laughs> it's the 100 acre wood, the Pooh Bear world. It's an empty meadow, take a look. Sure. <laughs> oh boy. Think, 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 think. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now... Everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. <laughs> well, that's an interesting introduction to the 100 Acre Wood. There are no enemies in this world, but there are mini games that you can play when you come here. I recommend going uh, to the 100 Acre Wood. Oh, whoa, hang on. Mithril Shard, very nice. There are some pretty good items in the 100 Acre Wood, so I do recommend coming here. Even if most of the minigames are kind of terrible. So right now, the only places we can go are the meadow near Eeyore's house. And then... This place. An, well, an odd sign hangs above the house's door. Take a look. Sure. This is Pooh's house, for those of you who didn't know. By the way, if you haven't seen Winnie the Pooh, then you really should, because those movies are amazing. Particularly the original. Ha! I'll ring the bell. And no one answered. Well, the thing that nobody knows about Pooh is that he likes to hoard treasure chests in his yard. I think. Or maybe I'm thinking of Kingdom Hearts 2. Have we met before? Welcome to the 100 Acre Wood. That's Owl. We'll be seeing him more. Darn it, I thought Pooh had treasure chests here. I guess not. Alright, well we can't do any more in the Hundred Acre Wood, so... Let's bail. Return to the outside world? Yeah, let's go. Basically, as we go to the other worlds in the game, we can find torn pages. And then if we return, we'll get unlock new parts of the Hundred Acre Wood. Play mini games, get awesome items, and of course, just have a grand time with Winnie the Pooh. All right, let's meet up with Sid. <sighs> Stupid rock.
All right. There you what are. Look who it is. What's going on? Riku. What hey, the? Hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku. Wait a second. Where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... That's not the keyboard I was using. Leave it to who? Leave it to Pooh. Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. Who are they? We've visited so many places and worlds, looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Really? Oh, guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Who just that? What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Yeah, it looks impractical, hey, but it's that. really awesome. Catch. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Really, Donald? Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Really? Riku? Nice going. Oh well. At least he's okay. And Stupid zipper hat. Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Donald's kind of a jerk. She's like, nobody cares, Shora. I felt like that scene, like, I feel like in every Kingdom Hearts game, there's like one scene that seems really forced. That's kind of the one for this game, where it's like, it's like, yeah, like, Riku and, like, Sora meet up. It's like, and they're best friends. They've literally been best friends for, like, their entire lives, and yet they're like, nah, we're not hanging out. Because, like, Donald's like, eh, we're not hanging out with Riku. Like, no way. Yeah. And then Riku just, like, bolts. Hey, dude. You guys ever heard of Maleficent? I hear she's in town. Who is she? A witch, man! She's a witch! She's the reason this town is full of Heartless. Don't take her lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. One day a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful! Our ruler was a wise man named Ansem. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It got scattered when our world was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent's got most of the pages. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companion. Um, no. Completely Evidently, bogus. Now he values them far more than he does you. Actually, it was because Riku bolted. You're better off without that wretched boy. You can trust now her, Riku. Know more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Apparently, Riku's found the strong maternal figure he needs in his life in Maleficent. <laughs> so he delivered that book. That navigation gummy's installed and ready to go. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy for the heck of it. We get a warp G. Now you can jump to worlds you've been to before. Well, better get back to my real job. What's my real job? You'll see. 
See me at the first district. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district. The one that rang a bit ago? The one above the gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know. But it's all boarded up. No one can get in there. Heck, go check it out. Ring it three times to see if anything happens. Yeah, we'll be doing that before we leave as well. We're almost out of time for this episode, though, so I'm going to head to the first district and check out Sid's new job. I've always wondered how Maleficent, like, gained Riku's trust. Where she's like, see, I told you Sora ditched you, like, you as a friend. It's like, really? Like, how could she possibly have known? Yeah, if we jump up here, here's Sid. Hey, now that was quick. And you now you know I'm in the gummy block business. Working on your gummy ship sure was great. Come back again and I'll give you a big discount. And we got the Comet G. Go ahead, take it. It's a special giveaway. So now we can buy gummy blocks from Sid. So we can buy extra jet engines, but what I'm interested in are is buying oh. Uh... Oh, that could be good. Thunder G, yes, it's a small cannon. I would like that, please. So now we have two cannons, which means we can kill enemies twice as fast and twice as quickly. That meant the same thing. I'm sorry. That was redundant. But anyways, we're out of time for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will finish things up in Traverse Town and head to the new world in our sweet, souped-out new gummy ship. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.